Do you want to make a link in bio page in WordPress? A link in bio page is just a popular way to send traffic from your social media profiles to multiple pages on your website. And a lot of people use Linktree. And this is a great alternative to Linktree where you can create the link in bio page right in your WordPress website so that you own everything. So with all that said, let me show you how you can create a link in bio landing page in WordPress. The easiest way to do a landing page like this is by using something like Seedprod. Seedprod is the best drag and drop WordPress page builder out there, and it just lets you do so much from your website. You can get started with the free version, but to show you all the features that you can do, I'm going to be using the pro version. And if you want to get started with Seedprod's pro version, just head over to Seedprod and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP so you'll get the best discount on Seedprod as well. And then once you download, log in and download the plugin, make sure you copy your license key while we're here. And then let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard. From here, we can go to plugins, add new. And if you want to choose the free one, you can search for Seedprod here. But because we're going to upload the pro version, I'm going to click on upload. And you can either choose file and search for it. Or since I already have it down here, I can left click, drag it up here and click install now. Once you install, you also want to make sure you stick around to activate the plugin. And then once it's activated, we can enter our license key. So I'm gonna paste my license key and verify the key. We get a green message saying we have a valid license key and now we can get started. So what we wanna do is let's go to Seedprod pages. And you see right here, there are several things that you can do with Seedprod. You can create a come in soon mode, maintenance mode. You can do a customized login page and we have tutorials on how to do that. We also have a tutorial on how to do a custom 404 page. But what we want to do is a particular landing page. So let's come down here and click create new. And you see right here, we have so many templates to choose from, or you can start from scratch if you know how you want it to look. I like to get up and running quickly by using one of their templates. And what we actually want to do is let's go ahead and filter by lead squeeze. It's just one of those simple type of landing pages. And you see from here, we even have one called personal links. You can click preview, but I know that this is one I want to choose. So let's go ahead and click on it. We'll give it a name and it's any name that you want. Just notice that this will be the URL for it. And right out of the box, we have something here that we can work with. And what's really cool is over on the left, these are all of the blocks that we can add. If you start with the free version, then there will be some that you're missing here. But these are all of the advanced blocks and the standard blocks that you can add over here. And as I'm Hovering over everything, you see these little sections. We have columns, sections to work on. Now, since we are making a Instagram bio link page, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just delete a couple of these items. I want to get rid of all of this and the image. And now I want to add an image. So I'm going to left click, drag this over. And I want to add, say, WP Beginners image. You can also click here and use stock images. So there are millions of stock images that you can use right out of the gate here, or you can use your own image by uploading or going to your media library. I'm going to upload the WP Beginner logo, and this is the one I want to use. So we'll select that, and we can even make this a little bit smaller since that's a little bit large. I'll make that a little bit smaller. That looks pretty good, and then we can make some other changes. If you want to, you can even add a link here. So that if they click on the image that will take them to our website, that's perfect. And for this, I want to change the overall look. If you want to do that, you can come over templates and choose what button you want to choose. So for instance, you can change any of these. You can even come over under advanced and change out the color scheme here to whatever you want. You can also go back to content to change what this says. Maybe we want them to join our mailing list. Under the link, we'll have link to where our mailing list is. And under icons, because this isn't our mailing list, we can actually remove this. You could add a, an icon if you want to keep icons here. You have all of these icons to choose from, from the icon library. For this, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple and just say, hey, join my email list. And then I just want to copy this same structure. So I'm going to come up here and duplicate block a couple of times, and I'm going to remove the and now I'm going to change these out. Great, and that's a very simple way to do it. You can play with it and make it as intricate as you want. And then once you're done, let's come up here and click Save Changes. Save Changes, and we can also come up here and click Publish. 
Now we can see the live page and that's perfect. So a real simple and easy way to create a links page. And then the cool thing about this is you can use something like Monster Insights Page Insights to see just how this page is performing. So let me show you what this looks like. So we'll exit out of here. You'll want to install Monster Insights on your website. You can go to Insights and go to Add-ons and you'll want to install the Page Insights add-on. Once you do that, then you would have your insights here where you could click on it to see just how that page is doing in the, say the last 30 days or yesterday. And with the page insights, it'll bring up your page statistics and it'll show you things like your bounce rate, how many people have accessed it, the page views, exits, load time, and so much more. And if you're wanting to get more out of your website, make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to create a landing page for your website using Seedprod. And I'll see you over there.